what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today is a new day yes sir today is a new day it's your boy terabyte reacts here back with some more episodes of monster man you guys already know how much i'm enjoying how much i'm enjoying watching this series this series is a mystery drama if i say so myself i want to say it's a mystery drama because um we still don't exactly know what's going on it seems like this is you know associated with you know monster in correlation with being a serial killer and i think you know we've already seen with johan the situation not exactly knowing what his background is but it seems like he's been a psycho basically his entire life it's like you know a lot of people they like to say that you know people are born to be serial killers the ones that are or were caught or whatever they were born this way you know what i'm saying the, the um bad social life you know what i'm saying they don't understand you know i remember a question in particularly that tenma asked him um you know when he asked him about um is wrong basically saying to him it's wrong to kill i don't remember the exact question but and he was like why why is it wrong to kill you know what i'm saying um to have a grown-ass person ask you that question like why is it wrong to take a life you know what i'm saying you know that something is not clicking right up here you know what i'm saying something is just not clicking right up here and he believes that Whoever I deem necessary to live, that's who is going to live. And I feel like anybody that comes in his path, there's a lot of things that I'm going back and, you know what I'm saying, watching over the episodes and trying to remember, you know, and in particularly, that's one of the things that stuck out to me. And also a couple of things that were mentioned too about, you know, Johan's past that's really sticking out to me and I'm wondering if that's ever going to be addressed again but I'm keeping it in mind just in case I hear something of similar nature you know mention again about about his past you know what I'm saying because it seems like he killed before he killed those people that he traveled to to Germany with you get what I'm saying it seems like he's killed before before them you know what I'm saying they weren't the first and he mentioned it when they were, you know what I'm saying, before he killed that guy in the parking lot or whatever building they were on at that time. He is the one that that is causing Tenma all of this trouble now. Tenma being on the run. You know, Tenma is on the run. Okay? And I don't know what he's going to do, how he's going to deal with these situations, or whatever the situation is. I don't know how he's going to deal with it, but one way or the other... He's going to have to deal with it. You get what I'm saying? So we'll see how that goes. But in any case, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm watching the show. I'm enjoying it. We're only eight episodes in at this point. We're going to be 10 episodes in after this reaction. But I know you guys have been enjoying it um, so far. Thank you guys for all, everybody that um, signed up for membership on the channel um for early access to these episodes who have considered doing it just because of monster i really do appreciate you guys for doing that okay so i really do appreciate you guys for doing that but in any case guys we're gonna jump in and see what they have to offer um one comment in particular was like what is wrong with this girl you know what i'm saying what is wrong with this girl this girl just gets an anonymous email and decides oh i'm just gonna meet up with this guy <laughs> You know what is wrong with people you know what i mean it's just like you don't know who it is but that's how it is when you're young though that's the thing like that's how it is that's how most young people are especially the fact that you know what i mean you're young this person is sending you you think this is person is a secret admirer so you don't think it's anything you know what i'm saying you're not thinking that oh i'm gonna meet up with my freaking serial killer um brother <laughs> you know what i'm saying that i shot in the head she's not gonna be thinking that so but that's 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 just how it is it's still stupid you know what i'm saying it's still stupid what she's what she did but you know i'm not gonna harp too much on stuff on stuff like that because 
you know what I'm saying? It's so synonymous with real life. You get what I'm saying? It's so um, intentional, intentionally written that way because that's how people are in real life. People really do stupid things like that, you know? So it doesn't surprise me at all that she that she did that. But at the same time, it's, it, it is incredibly stupid, <laughs> you know, so I really do appreciate you. So shout out to Say and Pride, man, um, for leaving that comment. Of course, um, one of the longtime supporters of the channel. Um, really do appreciate you guys who have been with me since I started doing anime on the channel. And I've also even ventured over into TV, into the TV series I do on the channel. So I really do appreciate you guys. So what we're going to do um is jump in i'm still doing the breaks i do cut them out in the edit but i'm still doing the breaks between episodes and also the break between the the um the intro before i go in and go into episode one because you never know you get what i'm saying you never know i might have to re-upload these later you never know they might drop the hammer because i am putting up full episodes on the channel at the current moment i mean I did get these episodes um, off of YouTube. I could just watch them on YouTube, but I downloaded all of them off of YouTube because as I told you guys before, I don't want no buffering issues while I'm watching the episodes because it it does take me personally out of the immersion of watching what I'm actually watching. So I usually download my episodes no matter what, what I'm watching on the channel. I download them, okay? Um, I'm, I still have my subscriptions to to Netflix and all of that where I get the shows from um, sometimes I don't download the episodes off of Netflix or download them off of Hulu or wherever it is that I'm getting it from this is just easier for me to get them from other places sometimes um, but it is what it is I still have my subscription to them um, and I still leave enough comment on the videos um, in my opinion to, to blur the lines okay so I do leave enough comment and I make sure that I do so I appreciate you guys for tuning in um, so if anything should happen with monster you all know the episodes are gonna come down and they'll just be on the Google Drive for, for safekeeping I still upload them to the Google Drive okay so I appreciate you guys and let's jump in to episode 9 10 my is on the run Let's do it. Today is warm. You are so hot. You don't sound like you are so hot in the summer. What? What is that? It's not a news report. 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 そういえばあんたもフェルデンへ行くって言ってたな知り合いでもいるのかいああ会えるかどうかわからないが行かなくちゃならないんだ Man, we heading over there strapped, homie strapped Now we skipping intro, man we get, get to the business This intro is mad long <laughs> A cool intro, but you know, we good. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Mm hmm. Man, <laughs> it's a random girl playing in the water outside of a police station. France, Gaijin, Butai, Shushi. Freelance, Ni Natta, No Chi, Ninety Nine, Nen, Nicaragua, No Sento, Ni San Sen. Eighty One, Nen, Kara, Eighty Two, Nen, Made. アフガニスタンの反政府ゲリラに加担 
ヒューゴー・ベルンハルトさんあなたほどの傭兵が主催するセミナーなのですからよほど優秀な生徒さんたちが卒業していくんでしょうなうちの若い者も,もぜひあなたのレクチャーを受けて鍛え直していただきたいもんですなちなみにこの男は優秀でしたか5ヶ月ほど前あなたの訓練所に現れたはずなんですがねメスを握れば天才だが銃を握ってもその素養はありましたか教え子に関しては話したくないんだがねなるほど。So hold on, Tenma had military training? Okay. Maybe. I mean, he didn't. I mean, he said his.、Uh, it seems like the dude was confirming it. Or not confirming it. You know how military people answer questions? <laughs> They answer questions like everything is a secret. I'm not confirming or denying. <laughs> 銃を習ったことはいえ。バリューで撃ってた口かいえ。撃ったことがないんです。Okay, so he did get training. はい、okay. 無茶なお願いなのは分かっています。でも、あなたにお願いするしか。この道、うちに来たらそれまでの銃の経験を忘れてもらってる。一度も撃ったことのない人間は初めてだ。Damn, Tema here try. Yo! Was this before or was this after? I'm guessing this was before everything. Nawa Tobida Kenga wrote on a caroto, she was Rekara Hajimir. Anoko no Yonina. Was that to Suruna? Suguni Hajimero. Hi. Jump rope give you some serious conditioning. I tell you that much. Fast, nigga. <laughs> Come on, Ted, man, get it. <laughs> Stop watching the girl and do your own thing. <laughs> なかなか君みたいにうまく飛べないな。君はいつもそうやって教官の代わりにトレーニングを見張っているのかい<笑>分かったよそんなに睨まなくてもやるよ私はやらなくちゃいけないんだ鳥だひな鳥の餌でも探しているのかな
枯れきって食欲もないかあ,あ,あ,あ食うのもトレーニングのうちだはいhave you guys ever experienced that i've i've been too tired to eat a couple of times in my life like it is a real thing man to be tired not tired off eating but too tired physically to eat ヤングルの掘った手小屋に逃げ込んだらあの親子がいた。母親は銃を構えていた。一瞬遅かったら俺が撃ち殺されていた。それで俺があの子を連れてきたってわけさ。俺と暮らして以来、あの子は一度も笑ったことがない。わあ。一生俺を。スクレイ。なんで生きるだろう。銃を持つとそういうことになる。それが嫌なら銃なんか持たないことだ
いいか二発だ銃を撃つ時には必ず引き金を二回引け二度ずつ撃つことでとどめを刺す確率は飛躍的に高くなるそれができない時はお前の命がないと思え I wonder if they're gonna tell me some shit like this when I go try to shoot guns. <laughs> okay, so. Just so you guys know, never sh I've never shot a gun before. Never held one before, except toy guns. So. Is something that I want to do, and I've been invited to do by a lot of people on this channel since I've mentioned it like way back. Like, yeah, people want me to come go hunting with them and stuff like that. Like, they want to show me how it goes, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm wondering if it's stuff like this, they're gonna be like, I mean, it's not about shooting people, you know what I'm saying, but I'm wondering if it's things similar like that like people would tell me you know what i'm saying like if you want to kill a deer or whatever the situation is like pull the trigger twice because i mean when you're hunting do you really want to pull the trigger twice to you know what i'm saying you got to make sure your your shot is you know really on point you know what i mean before you pull the trigger you know but i mean you're shooting at animals so you know Look at <laughs> I'm probably gonna be the same way. Real shaky. Cause I have really bad nerves, but once I settle in it it's game over, you know what I'm saying? Once I get used to something like Oh now he cooking, <laughs> alright. It's called beef potato. But they don't know how to use it. Well, she might because she's Asian, I think. She, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know what he's doing. <laughs> hey, I want to talk. I don't know how to use chopsticks properly either. Like, it's always an issue. <laughs> It's challenging, but when you get that shit down, you feel like you conquered the world, man. Okay. Alright, Tenma. This is the most fascinating part. I don't know what it is about this. I don't know what is it about this that just so fascinating to me. And I think it's because of my the, the technical aspect that has always been fascinating to me ever since I was a kid. Just taking things apart and putting them back together. It's one of the things I used to do when I was a kid with like radios and I always want to know how the innards of anything works. You get what I'm saying? That's why when computers came on the scene, you know what I'm saying? I completely abandoned freaking, um, because my dream, like what I wanted to be when I was in school, uh, when I was in high school, um, my goal was to be a research scientist, right? That's what I wanted to do. But then computers came out and then I wanted to become a computer engineer because I just got so fascinated with computers um, 
mind you i'm not i've done the computer engineering thing self-taught actually read a ton of books um and you know you can when it comes on to computers like a lot of times people explaining stuff to me about computers i'm just like i know i know just 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 tell me the solution <laughs> i'm not calling you for you to tell me how it how the thing works i know how it works i just want you to tell me um what i need to do because you created the machine okay if i wanted to go through all of the rigmarola of figuring the shit out i would do that but that i'm calling you for the shortcut because you put together the machine that's why I don't like calling any company for for um, for solutions because they always have these basic troubleshooting things that everybody should know, in my opinion, to tell you. And if and if the thing about it is like you really think I didn't try to restart my computer, really? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like everybody's supposed to know that if your if your computer is not working, right? If something is wrong. One of the best things that you can do to your computer is to restart it and see what happens. If you restart the computer, if if you call the company and they tell you to restart your computer, you should scream at them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't scream at anybody. But, you know, that's just how I feel. I feel like screaming at people when they tell me to do that because I'm like, everybody should know that by now. Unless you're super old. You get what I'm saying? Unless you're like super old. Yeah, you know I'm saying, and it does usually um, restarting your computer can solve a whole lot of issues because when you reboot your computer, it's like starting from scratch. It's kind of like going to sleep and waking back up. You feel refreshed. That's how your computer feels. If I put it in non-technical terms and to compare it to something human, you get what I'm saying. So I think this, um, just my fascination with guns i think this is the 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 part of it that intrigues me the most is just i want to learn how to do this to take apart a gun and put it back together and i think that would just make my day i think <laughs> i think if i could just do that with a gun and just get up like you know once a week or twice a week and just disassemble the gun clean it and then put it back together mm -mm, cock it you know what i'm saying like i think i would be satisfied you know what I'm saying? さ。うん。Damn, I got 10 months out here. He ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is that Johan is not trying to kill him. Johan. 
ただ。銃で人を撃つとなると別問題だ。うん、最初のやつが撃てるか撃てないか。それで道が分かれる。銃を使えるか使えないかのね。なるほど。彼はどちらに進みますかねまあ、それはいい。で、彼の行方を知りませんかているのなら教えていただきたいですね<笑> My guy's like, I ain't no snitch. I already told you too much. ご加月間お世話になりました。残りの受講料をお支払いしておきます。それと肉じゃが食べてください。本当にありがとうございました。Why do you just up and leave? Duck. <laughs> He's still strong. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, he got that. She's never smiled before. Told you, ain't no snitch, bruh. That's who was playing outside. Okay, it's the little girl. Okay. That's crazy. That was a crazy episode. Really. Heartfelt episode right there. If I don't even know if the episode is over. <laughs> ジンクス。<笑><笑> It's for jinx. <laughs> It's for good luck. All right, the story continues, and I have not changed my thing. I'll be right back. <laughs> I was supposed to change the title and everything. We're still in episode nine. Okay. We are back <laughs> and correct. t a 
頼むぜまだ金目のものが残ってますようによっ誰オッケーオッケー思った通りだそっくりきれいに残ってやがるよりとりみとりじゃねえかこのヘッケル様のお眼鏡にかなう情物はあるかな<笑>人生はかないもんだぜ州知事候補だのと言われたって撃ち殺されてこのざまじゃなおっとビジネスビジネススメンシーズ金庫はこの部屋あたりと見た<音声>な,な,なんだこの寒気はこんな嫌な感じは初めてだよこの部屋の中に誰かいる Nah, I think that's your cue to get out <laughs> なにビビってんだ俺らしくもね動くなそのまま手を頭の上にあっちゃ後ろにいたのかよさあステンマあのバーテンがレッドチェリーを忘れやがるからだ早く手を挙げろはいはいはいはいはいさつの旦那勘弁してくれよ俺まだ何にも取っちゃいねえんだからよ私は警察じゃないあなんだ同業者かよそんなそんな物騒なものを下ろして穏便に手を頭の上になんだこいつ警察より価値悪そうだぜさつだおめえヘマしやがったな俺は逃げるぞついてくるんじゃねえよおめえみたいなヘマ野郎あっちだがついだふざけやがってついてくんだって言ってんだろうが I think that's the house は役味だぜそうかどっかで見たと思ったらあんた新聞に出てたシュプリンガー議員殺しの重要参考人とかいう医者かよそっちはアキスかその通りあんたみてえに殺しなんて野暮なまねはしねえあの家で起きた事件について何か知らないか<笑> Yeah, it's the house. <笑> it's the house where the twins are from. <笑> hey, Doctor! 確かあんた超一流の外科医だったよな。俺の名跡な頭脳に今ピピンとした。出会いってのは偶然だと思うか、ドクター。違うんだな。人間の巡り合いはあらかじめ決まってんのよ。俺とあんたはコンビ組む運命だったんだな、うん、裏の世界じゃあんたみたいな人間を必要としてる連中が山ほどいるんだ医者を呼びたくてもやばくて呼べずに死んでいくような連中がよマネジメントはこのヘッケル様に任せろあんたを世界一のモーグリの医者にしてみせろ裏の稼ぎは桁が違うぜあっという間に億万長者だおいドクターどこ行くんだよ私にはやらなくちゃならないことがあるんだちょっと待てよあの屋敷の殺人について知りてんだろう、うん、<笑>なんだって俺犯人見てんだもんよなんだってどういうことだ知りてえかその犯人は金髪の二十歳ぐらいの男じゃなかったかなんだそりゃとにかくその犯人のことは話してくれ俺と組むんだったら教えてやる Damn. <laughs> そしたらどっかでいっぱいやりながら俺たちの夢のような将来について語り合おうじゃあおおいあってどうするんだよ相手は殺人犯だぞお前殺されちまうぞだく何考えてんだか付き合ってらんねえよしかしあんな金づるめったに見つからねえぞやばい橋は渡らねえ主義なんだがな。You don't always do risky things.A <laughs> thief literally just said that.I don't always do risky things. <laughs> y 
God. ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。ドクター。
自殺かまったくブレーでどうなるってんだよ死んじまったら何もかもおしまいだぜ生きてりゃこそだよなドクターああたまにはいいことを言うんだなたまにはとはなんだたまにはとはよ<笑>でつまりあんたはそのヨハンだかいうとてつもない連続殺人犯を追っかけてるってわけかはそんなバカバカしいことほっといて俺と組もうぜもうそういえばさっきこの部屋を開けようとした時なんかゾッとしたような<笑>んなんだこれ何震えてんだよドクター僕を見て僕を見て。僕の中のモンスターがこんなに大きくなったよドクター天馬ヨハンは彼は楽しんでいるダンブロードクターヤスゲミーのチルズ俺の話を聞けってヨードクターいい話持ってきてやったんだぜありがたく思えよ俺と組むって約束したろ誰がお前と組むと言ったおあんただって警察から逃げ回るには金が必要だろう車に乗れ。Where、well, is this guy? お客さんだ。あんたを患者のところまで連れてく。荷物は俺が預かっとく。返してほしかったら仕事して金を受け取って。グラシテン通りのフランクの店に来なえー、しっかり稼いでらっしゃい<笑>これはやっぱりボロいビジネスださてと前金受け取ったことだしいっぱいやっかロイヤ医者連れてきました<笑>助かったよドクター早く血を止めてくれ液化動脈が損傷しているのは三段でやられたのかなあおい先生手ぶらじゃないか手術の道具が揃えたのかいや街の中やばくてそこまでは道具があってもここで手術なんかできないよ早くちゃんとした医者に見せるんだなそれができたらとっくにやってる早く直せどれくらい前に撃たれた余計なことを聞くなうん4時間前かお前たち今朝のテロ事件の犯人かだったらどうなんだ断る、うん、なんだと無差別テロをやるような人間を直す気はないふざけるな自分が今どういう状況にいるのか分かっているのかまあ待てなあ先生もうすぐ俺たちの仲間が助けにやってくるそれまでに血だけは止めてくれなんだその態度は<笑>死にたいのか<笑>待てと言ってるだろで,でもロヤーとりあえず今この先生は俺の命を握っている俺がもし死んだらその時は撃ち殺せ<笑>こっちも事前事業をやってるわけじゃないんでね借金25万マルク返してくれないかヘッケルグ,グロスさん返すつもりはあるんだ嬉しいねその気持ちだけでも嬉しいよ<笑>とりあえず両腕へし折っとけ。おあ、ま、返す、返します。いい子だ。だから、あと一ヶ月待って。両足も折っとけ。目撃者の証言から、事件の容疑者は。マックスシュタインドルフ、カールブラントの二名と見られ。ゲーベイ社は、この両名に対する有力な情報には。三十万マルクを支払うことを発表しました。
こいつらだったのかああか金返せるよ<笑>俺こいつらのいい場所知ってんだそれで借金はチャラだ本当だろうな嘘だったら首の骨へし折るぞ本当本当絶対本当<笑>あでも今あそこには天満が言ってるんだっけまあいいか<笑>あんたさっき俺のやったことを無差別テロとか言ったな冗談じゃない俺がやったことにはちゃんと意味があるんだ俺はあのゲーベエー社の会長を殺すことができてい,いつ死んでもいいくらいすっきりしているんだロヤ俺は東側で弁護士をやってたこいつは政治家の秘書だった壁が崩壊してみんな職なしだ先生あんた俺たちと気持ちわかるかあのゲーベエー社は壁が崩壊した直後金に物を言わせて東に乗り込んできた俺たちの土地に強引に工場を作ったいくつもいくつも Okay, I've heard of the. I'm trying to remember this. I don't know much about the, the wall in Germany. I don't even remember what they call the damn wall again. Um, I don't know much about the history of this wall. I really don't. I really don't. I know what he's talking about or what he's referring to, but I don't know much about it. You know, I know there was a wall. It, it, got, it broke down because I think the wall was like dividing the country or some shit. So I don't, I don't remember. I, I, I really don't. I, I am so lost <laughs> when it comes on to the history of、um, the wall. I don't remember if it's in. I don't even remember what city the wall was. <laughs> That's how much I need to like brush up. On history, that's how much I hated history when I was in school because、um, there's certain things that just, well, to be honest, most of it just just flew out, flew over my head because I was just like, I was just not interested. But at the same time, I do know what he's talking about though. So this is interesting. So let me know in the comment section if what he's talking about is true, not necessarily, you know. The whole assassination part of it, terrorists and all that, but the part of, you know, they moved in with money or whatever the situation is like. Let me know how much of this story is actually true. I know it was like a civil war kind of thing. ああ。怖いか死ぬのが怖いかみんなそうやって死んでいったんだお前に殺された12人もみんなそうやってそれが人を殺すということだ消毒液とハサミをえそれぐらいあるだろう動脈性出血だ低血圧性ショックを起こしている損傷動脈を指で圧迫して止血する<笑>解放部の皮膚を縫合する針と糸そ,そんなもんねえよならホッチキスいいホ,ホッチキス早く用意しろあはい I mean just like how you can't discriminate against who you save as a doctor you get what I'm saying it's the same thing You can't just, you're not. I don't think anybody has the right to take a life. And it's the same thing. It applies in so many different things. 
It's just like you can't have it one way or the other. Because I'm pretty sure, you know, doctors have had the option of maybe saving a terrorist or whatever the situation is. You get what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Or you could let him bleed out and die. Or you could let him, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the situation is, maybe they're dying for something else, and you just let him die. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that those situations have happened. Whether it's to our soldiers that have been out there, you know, fighting a war or whatever the situation is, going up against terrorists, whatever the situation is, I'm pretty sure that there got to be at, at least one incident of where a terrorist is bleeding out, a medic is there, and instead of saving the terrorist, they decide, oh, just let him bleed out, he's a terrorist, or they shot him in the head or whatever, um, which is something that they're not supposed to do, but I'm pretty sure they have been scenario. They, they might not have reported it, but I'm pretty sure they've been in those situations before where they had the opportunity to probably save the person instead of, you get what I'm saying, save the person and capture them, but they decide, oh, just let him bleed out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that that situation must have happened over all these years that we've been fighting against, you know, whether it's, you know, ISIS, whether it's, you know, um, Al-Qaeda, wh whatever it is. Pretty sure they haven't been in those situations. They have to have been, at least once. This man is out here using a stapler to stitch up, to stitch up a freaking artery. <laughs> a wound. Come on, man. Dr. Tenma is so, such a badass, bro. Nah, he need, yeah. Take him in. He needs to go to jail. What are you thinking about? I'm going to kill you. If you kill me, I'll kill you. If you kill me, I'll kill you. You can't do shit. You better get out of Dodge. But he's also wanted too, so that's the thing, like ここで殺せ。あんたは逃げろ。さっき思い出したよ。どこかで見た顔だと思ったが、連続殺人の容疑で手配されている医者だろ。早く殺せ。俺のやったのは無差別テロなんかじゃない。俺が殺したのは<
all right so that was episode 9 and 10 of monster man i really do did enjoy that um two episodes you know what i'm saying it wasn't as fast paced as the ones we've watched but like the last couple of episodes that we watched um wasn't as fast paced like you know on the edge of your seat any like anything like that but it was continuing a story which when it comes on to these kind of animes you know this genre of anything that any type of media whether it's anime whether it's a tv show you know what i'm saying or movie it's pacing gotta be you know what i'm saying it's gotta be good and you know a lot of people you hear a lot of people talk about pacing and they don't know what the hell pacing is you know what i'm saying but because i have I have prior experience, <laughs> you know, you know, um, when it comes to pacing, man, like you got to make sure that pacing includes everything that's involved within the show. You get what I'm saying? And it's pacing has to do with keeping the audience engaged. How are you keeping the audience engaged in the story that you're telling? Are they immersed in the story so much that they even forget about time? All of those things are is what considered in when you when you're talking about the pacing of a story. Um, was I bored at any part of these two episodes? Absolutely not. I was very intrigued. I was very active. Um, talking reacting to the things that I was seeing so when you see that like there are TV shows that I've watched in the past that is fall asleep watching because the pacing is horrible whether it's for one episodes or two episodes maybe not for the entire series because if if the pacing is horrible for the entire series I would not be watching it you get what I'm saying so you have you have to grade pacing you know what I'm saying you have to grade the pacing from you know what i'm saying from is it bad is it good is it great you get what i'm saying so you have to go to those levels to to really understand what pacing is you know what i mean and some people they talk about pacing i'm like what are you what are you talking about <laughs> you get what i'm saying like what are you talking about the, the you have no idea what pacing is <laughs> you know what i'm saying but because it's one of those things when you're reviewing anything that you feel like you have to talk about. If you don't know what it is, you don't have to talk about it. You get what I'm saying? So, um, in, in in me and having that experience, if you ask like people who have been in, you know, done anything remotely or learned about what pacing in movie movie is or a pacing in a TV show and all of that, it's all about the the, the audience's engagement in what you, in what you're seeing. That's, that's all pacing is, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, in my opinion, the pacing for these two episodes were absolutely great. It kept me engaged. I wasn't bored at any time, even though they were slower episodes. You get what I'm saying? So it doesn't have necessarily be with the speed of the show. And that's what I'm trying to say. Pacing doesn't necessarily have to do with the speed of action, 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 action. You get what I'm saying? It's just the overall, how are you keeping the audience engaged even during those moments when nothing major is happening? You get what I'm saying? What is the story looking like? What are the characters talking about? Are they comprehensively keeping you out of the loop while keeping you in the loop? You get what I'm saying? And keeping you interested and keep watching even more. You know what I'm saying? So I know you guys are only seeing like two episodes a day, whether it's early access or whether it's on... The, the channel right you guys are only getting two episodes a day but at the same time i'm watching like you know maybe four or six in one in, in in one sitting so i do have the privilege of that even though you guys have you get what i'm saying so so some of you guys are watching the anime for the first time with me i know you probably don't want to watch it with somebody talking over it or pausing to talk about their fascination with guns <laughs> you know which is you get what i'm saying like you don't want that so you know you should watch it on your own and then come back and see my reactions to it um if you want i, th I think a couple of people asked like where can they watch it the entire series is on is it's on youtube like it's literally on youtube i got these episodes from youtube you get what i'm saying so um there is no issues 
we're putting we're putting this on um you that's why i don't have any issues with putting the full episodes up on youtube because i guess the people that made this anime probably their studio doesn't exist anymore or probably nobody has really picked it up but i'm pretty sure that if netflix picks up this show like buys it or something in in you know what i'm saying because they are buying a lot of animes and you know what i'm saying to put on netflix or whatever i'm pretty sure that maybe in the future I might not be able to have these on the channel or my channel might get striked because I have full episode. But I, I, at this point, I really don't care. If I see one strike on it, I'm just going to delete all, all of them immediately because I check my channel every day to make sure everything is okay with it. Okay, so, um, so let's talk about the story. Yes, that was a rant about nothing. <laughs> Anyways, but in any case, it was a rant about something. But yeah, just to be um just to explain to you guys because you know sometimes i do go off and talk about things that has nothing to do with the episode but that's just how it is okay strap in for the next five minutes we going in now so these two episodes we got tenma seemed like he went back to the house where the couples died um where the twins were when when johan got shot in the head from his sister and the parents that died i think they were the ones that was chalked out on the floor if it's not if it's not that house i think it's the house that the dude that committed suicide i think that's where he went to kill those people the um i don't remember their name okay i don't remember the names they gave a name the people that he didn't like or whatever because he switched out of rose garden to, to get more parking space it's the man's house and you're going to be like it wasn't right <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? How are you get? You don't have that right to be like, oh, that's wrong. It's his house. It's not like he changed your property. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you have an issue with that? But at the same time, it is what it is, right? So he went there, he killed them, whatever. So I wasn't exactly sure if it was where the twins, where they were taken to the hospital or whatever. Cause it seems like it's a completely different town to be honest he, that he went to it seems like he went somewhere else I, I i'm as a matter of fact i thought he was um i actually thought that he was heading back to japan i thought that's what he was doing like he was gonna try to get out of the country but that's not what he did i mean of course you know you're a fugitive not the best thing to try and fly out of a country if, if you know i mean if you can you know what I'm saying? It's a great option, but it's not the greatest option to choose to do because, you know, the airports are going to be looking for you. So, um, so the thing, the thing about it is, um, he's all over the papers. You know what I'm saying? He, Tenma is looking for answers. I like episode nine. I love those episodes and I wish more stories would do stuff like that where, it's not slice of life it's kind of like it was a flashback episode but it was a very important flashback episode even though because you know what i'm saying to show where he learned to use a gun why is tenma why does he have a gun you get what i'm saying if he doesn't have a gun just in case you know what i'm saying or does he have training is this something that it was a good flashback to help us to understand more about who tenma is you know what i'm saying i would have never expected that from him being a doctor you get what i'm saying to you know own a gun you know what i'm saying get gun training you know what i'm saying i i never expected that um and i'm pretty sure that that's probably something that i should actually do to be honest to like go get training from like a military person on how to handle guns and you know the rules and all this stuff it's probably something that i should do before i even go and pick one up because i am planning to do that it's actually on my bucket list you know what i'm saying um yeah so it's something that i'm trying to do to you know i don't know it's not about boosting ego or anything like that i just have this weird fascination lately about guns and it's not that I'm trying to kill anyone or anything like that or you know I want to hurt anybody it's just to me you know I kind of think of it as just another tool to protect you get what I'm saying I probably still won't 
pro I probably still won't own a gun, to be honest. I'm gonna be honest, I probably still won't own one or have one in my house. It's just that I just want to see it, feel it, have it in my hand. What it what is you know what I'm saying? Like I it's just a it's just a sense of curiosity. I mean, I don't know, maybe I like it enough to, to, to buy one and own one, but it's still not it's still going to be in my mind it is a weapon like that's never going to go away that it is a weapon that kills so you know what i'm saying so um it's never going to be see, like my my house is extremely extremely well protected i will applaud the man that breaks into my home <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i literally have grills on my windows you know what i'm saying a, a grill there's a grill thing on my door like you literally have to pull up to my house with a grinder to get in my house okay <laughs> you have to pull up with a grinder okay so uh, uh we i don't play around here i'm jamaican and that's how i you know what i'm saying we i grew up it's like we grew up we had grills on our windows you know what i'm saying and we let it look pretty you know what i'm saying it doesn't it's not no ugly grilling or anything like that you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, other than that, it also, um, you know, protects us during hurricanes. So just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it protects against hurricanes. I don't have to put up hurricane shutters or anything like that. I just have those grills. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So, you literally, if you want to break into my house, whether I'm here or not, you got to pull up with a grinder. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's going to go through all... <laughs> who's the which thief is going to be out there pulling up to the house with a, with a grinder to get in my house? You know what I'm saying? And I have neighbors. Like, I don't live out in the middle of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody sees you trying to grind and come into my house, they're going to be like, bruh. <laughs> Plus, I have a camera security system. So, pull up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you going to go to jail real fast. I'll tell you that much if you stick around. But anyways. So, I do understand when it comes on to Tenma, man. He's... He's one of those characters that, you know, I'm really trying, um, probably putting up in the, in the upper echelons of characters that I've witnessed so far. And I'm only 10 episodes in because there's, you guys are telling me there's so much more to this story. I can't wait to know what's more to this story other than the fact that there's a serial killer out there. Nobody is believing Tenma because he's telling them, Hey, it's this guy that's killing people it's the little boy they didn't believe him um nine years later skid is still killing god knows how many people he definitely killed before um those people that he was with with his sister he killed before that you know what i'm saying and i think the sister saw you know and that's why she tried to kill him but tenma saved him and now you know, a lot of people have asked me in the comment section, do you still think that he should have saved the kid? Hell yeah. Hell yes. You cannot, as a doctor, you can't discriminate. And other than the fact that that, so, don't get me wrong, some people deserve what's coming to them. Don't get me wrong. But if you have the chance to save a life, like should you save a killer knowing that they're a killer? You get what I'm saying? Knowing that they're, they're a killer. There's so many variables in that situation. There's so many variables to consider. So you can't just look at it plain as they and be like, in, in, in Tenma's situation, hell yes, he did not know that he was saving a killer. So hell yes, I'm always going to say he should have saved the, he should have saved the kid. So you can't look at it from hindsight and be like, Oh, maybe I should have let him die. No, the situation is the situation. He didn't know the kid was a killer at the time. Yes, he would have been. A t it's always going to be a tough decision if he just if he knew he was a killer, and you know you're making the decision: should I save this kid or not? Because you never know how people's life is going to turn out. So when you're talking about real life, you don't know if this guy, if this person is never going to kill again. You don't know that. You get what I'm saying? So to say let him atone for the killing by letting him die, is that really morally right? I don't know. It's a very thin line 
but it's there. You get what I'm saying? It's a very thin line to, um, to cross, you, you know what I'm saying? It's a very thin line to cross or to consider, you know, it, 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 it's a stressful thing to even think about because you're like, you don't know how people's future are going to go. And for you to have the chance to save a, to save a life of somebody, a killer begging you to save his life, as we saw in episode, episode 10, correct? You know what I'm saying? You never know what can happen. You know, for me, I would do my best to turn in that person, take him to the hospital. I probably would have done exactly what he did. What Tenma did, because at the end of the day, he still decided to save this dude. Even though, knowingly, he's a terrorist. Even though he's saying he righteously did what he did. But at the end of the day, you're forgetting one thing. You still killed 20 people, my guy. That's the crux of the story. That's the meat of the matter. That is the meat on the bones right there. That is what we're looking at. At the end of the day, should you be let go because you killed bad people? Should you not go to jail because you killed bad people? Because you went out there intentionally to kill bad people? Should you be in jail? Should you go to prison for that? Do you believe that people who kill bad people shouldn't go to jail? And it's not in self-defense. I'm not talking about self-defense. It's not in self-defense. This man went out and killed 20 people. You're just as bad as the other people that are killing your people. Doesn't make you better. Okay, so at the end of the day, you might want to think that you're better than those people, but at the end of the day, you're still going to be in prison, my guy. That's just how it is. <laughs> but in any case, um, yes, that is all I have to say about Monster Episode 9 and 10. I'm about to go watch 11 and 12. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow for another two episodes of Monster. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all for coming through all the time, man, and supporting the channel. This was a long review, of course. That this is probably going to be my longest review um, that I've done on Monster so far. I usually try to keep it within five, you know, to ten minutes of my reviews, and you know, just talk through things and get through what we get into. We didn't, you know, as far as I know, it seems like Johan. He just knows. You know what I'm saying? He knows what's going on. I think he has people watching Dr. Tenma. I think because he is like he knows what he's going, what um, Tenma is going to do before he actually does it. And that's just intriguing to me. Like, what is his network? Is this a network of criminals? Is it just Johan? You know what I'm saying? Like, is it a network that he has of criminals that if they don't do what he tell them to do, what he tells them to do, he has some sort of as I said during the episode, his power of suggestion is what I'm going off of right now. I don't want to go into thinking that he has some sort of supernatural power, like some Code Gia shit. He just has a very strong power of suggestion over people. You get what I'm saying? He knows how to talk to people to get him to do shit. I don't know if he's actually, like, you know, holding somebody for them hostage or... You know what I'm saying? I think more than likely he's just using words to hold them hostage and let them think things like some psycho, like on some psychology shit. You know what I'm saying? I think that's where Johan is at. And I think he's an extremely smart dude too. And usually you will have that when it comes on to serial killers are usually extremely smart. Their IQ is off the charts. Um, at least the ones that are successful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. In any case, man, I appreciate y'all for sticking around. Make sure, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.